Shamai, it's Bethan here. I am a company dancer with Impella and I dance in South. Today I'm here to share with you a little morning mobilisation wake up routine that I like to do on those days, particularly when I'm feeling a little bit tired and it's hard to get out of bed or I'm feeling very achy and stiff. You can do this routine any way you like, preferably on something a little bit softer like a mat or a good carpet or rug, or you can even do it whilst you're still in bed. All right, so we start lying on our backs with our arms wide by our sides and just getting used to sinking down into the floor to start with. And we'll start at the top of the body with the head with a few nods down and up. These are quite tricky and you do have to go through this little d double chin moment here. So a few of these nods down and up to start waking that neck up. And then we'll go side to side. This is a lot easier. Starting quite small and seeing if you can go a little bit bigger each time. And then we'll wake our way down into the shoulders. So bringing those shoulders all the way up to ears and then just slotting them down. Bringing them up and slotting them down. Let's just take those arms all the way up towards the ceiling now as if someone's pulling those hands away, lifting your shoulders off and drop them down. A couple of times more like that. Lift those shoulder blades off and drop them down. Last time, pulling up with the arms that lifts the shoulders and drop. And from here, let's take right arm over left and just give yourself a hug and have a little wiggle. And we'll swap sides, arms wide to the side, this time left over right, and give yourself a hug. From here we're going to give our knees a hug as well, so hug those knees in towards your body, and just have a little rock from side to side. Give that back a massage on the floor. And we'll start drawing circles with those knees, round one way four times. Last one, four. And we'll go full the other way as well. One. That's two. These can be small circles or they can be really big circles. Whatever works for your body today. Hug them in for a moment. And let's stretch them out down to the floor again. Glue those legs together now. We're just going to start rocking the legs from side to side. Again, we can be small to begin with if this is the first thing you're doing this morning. Make it quite small. If you're really clever, we can start turning the head in the opposite direction to where those knees are headed. That's it. On the next one, we're going to stay over that side with the legs. So drop them down towards the floor. And we're just going to stay here for a moment. Turn that head in the opposite direction to where the knees are. See if you can get that underneath leg to relax down to the floor. Then taking the top leg, we're going to take it slightly further and we're going to draw some circles on the floor with that foot. Four circles one way, there's a theme here. And four circles the other way, round and round. So hopefully getting a bit of a stretch into your back here, maybe into the hip, around the bum area. And coming back to the other side, breathing out to bring yourself back. Breathing out to come to this side. Dropping those knees for a moment, we'll just stay here. Turn that head the opposite way. Sorry, bye bye. And we'll just hold for a moment, get that underneath leg to relax down. And taking that top leg over, let's go for some circles now. So, four one way. Drawing that circle with your toes on the floor. Four circles the other way. One, two, three, four. Deep breath in, and on the breath out, we bring ourselves back to the middle. Good. We're going to start opening out our chest now. Come over onto one side, it doesn't matter which way. And we're going to bring our arms out in front of us like we're doing a big clap. Following that top hand, we're just going to reach up and beyond behind us, reaching that hand far away and bringing it back in. doesn't matter if you can't touch the floor the first few times. The more you do it, the easier it will be. Reaching up and behind and back in. And we'll go for two full circles. So we're going to clean the floor with our arm here, going up and over, changing your palm to face the ceiling as soon as you can, and taking that big circle past the leg, past the hip, all the way around. 
So nice and warm in our shoulders now. And we do have to do the other side as well so that we're not wonky. So let's take ourselves back onto our backs. Deep breath in. And a breath out to come over onto the other side. Take those arms out in that big clap. This time we use the other arm and see we're following those hands with our eyes so we can get a twist through the body and bring it back in. One more like that. Doesn't matter if you can't reach the floor. Maybe one day we'll get that. And back in. Two full circles up over the head, like you're cleaning the floor with your arm. Again, doesn't matter if you can't quite touch the floor here. All the way around. That's it. Bring yourself back. Deep in breath and with an out breath, back onto your tummies. We do eventually need to get up from the floor. So now we're going to make our way over onto all fours. So coming up onto your hands and knees. Take a moment to give those wrists a bit of a circle. So they're nice and warm, ready to take our weight. And we'll just come onto all fours here. So making sure those knees are underneath you, hands are underneath the shoulders, and those elbow creases are looking at each other here. So we're not locking into our elbows. Lifting in our belly button, so we're strong in our middles. We're gonna go for a few hunches and releases. So we're arching that back all the way up to the sky. And then sinking down, chest, tail and head to the sky. Arching up, hunching that back and loosening off in the other direction. See if you can get lots of movement from this lower part of the back. It's very easy to get into this middle part here, but see if you can get that lower back to move as well. That's it. And, and my favourite bit now, we can sit back down on those heels, stretch those arms out and just have a rest here. And a little rock from side to side in the hips. From here, we're going to walk the hands out to the right. So little spider walks over one way and we drop the left hip down towards the floor. So we should get a bit of a stretch into the side of the body here. And you do have to move your head a little bit but it just doesn't get in the way. And walking those arms and back to the middle, and we'll go to the other side. Walking those hands over, dropping the right hip down now. And breathing in all these positions to help get the body to relax. Coming back up onto all fours, we're gonna prepare ourselves for taking a bit more weight here and getting up to standing eventually. So we're just going to do a few rocks back and forth. So take more weight into the hand, rock back towards the heels. More into the hands, rock back into the heels. So using your tummy to stay strong in your middles here, rocking back and forth. And let's see if we can take those toes off now and slowly walk our hands back in towards our heels. And we're just going to warm up our feet now as well. So just doing a few Rises up onto the toes, rocking back and forth, getting these ankles ready to stand up. Toes as well. Warming up those toes. And from here, it's time to come up to standing. So, straightening those legs a little bit here and taking your own time to come up to standing. Goodbye.